Okay. A huge delay. Yeah. Your speaker's not working properly. Okay, I'm gonna try it. So my voice basically doesn't match my sat my face, does it? It does now. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we'll be good. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, well, well, hopefully we can, it says recording. So here we go. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so my topic, first of all, I'm Sherry Reed, if you don't know who I am. And I've been with Young Living since, let's see, March of 2014, so a little over four years. It's hard to believe. Okay, so my topic that Susan asked me to talk about is owning you and the power of storytelling and vulnerability. She, that's part of it too. So when she asked me to talk about this, I'm like, okay, this is good. I love this topic. It's just the whole owning you and being good with your journey and just being all that God created us to be. I'm super excited about that. And so that was, you know, probably a month or six weeks ago. And I'm like, that's all good. And then as it got closer and this week and today, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. I was just kind of worried about how am I going to deliver this to you? And how am I going to add value to you? Because I believe in not wasting people's time. In fact, I'm going to try to keep an eye on my clock here because you know what? We all have great things to be doing. And I think that this, um, this take, being willing to take your time to listen to this, whether you're live with me or you're watching the recording is a really, it's a huge um, burden of mind that it be valuable to you. So that's, I want to get right to the topic and try to give you something of value. I wanted to start though with, I thought it was really, really neat in my planner and I'm kind of an old school. Yeah, I still have the Franklin Covey planner that has a quote on every day. And today's quote was so perfect. It says, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. I thought, wow, that's cool. Okay, so just kind of getting right into it. I love quotes. So if you follow me at all, you kind of know that I love quotes. I'm, I'm all about quotes. And so I have several to offer you. And my, my goal would be to kind of give you a challenge and make so this something that you can relate to and then to leave you kind of with a challenge and a blessing at the end. Some resources you can use to just for this whole journey of owning you. Okay, and hopefully this all sounds good for anybody that's watching later kind of had some technical difficulties, but trying to make it work Being on my phone. I'm talking through the video on my computer so I can record and hopefully you can hear. Maybe you'll have to listen to it and not watch me because it may not be together. But anyway, okay. First of all, I wanted to start out with a little exercise that and I it would love for you if you want to right now while you're on with me. I just want we're going to set a little timer and we're going to take two minutes and we're going to spend two minutes and it's going to seem like probably forever and we're going to write down i'm going to ask you some questions and i want you just to spend a little time writing this down and i encourage you to do it now because i know what if and whenever or whenever you're watching it i know what it's like to be um to think oh i'll do it tomorrow and i'm have some free time but you know how it is tomorrow comes and life gets busy doesn't it and we just don't always get around to this i would love to i would encourage you to do it right now or whenever you're listening to this Okay, so I'm going to okay. ask you a couple questions, and I'm going to spend a little time on my watch for two minutes, and we're going to just write everything that comes to our mind. If you're an artist and a drawler, draw a picture. Maybe you are just want to write sentences. Maybe you just want to write words. Totally up to you, and you know what? No one's grading it. No one has to see it. This is just about you, because we're talking about owning you. Me owning me, you owning you. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to write down. I want you to answer these questions. Who am I? What is my purpose? What is my passion? Basically, who am I? And I want this to be like, not, necess not necessarily just nouns, like not just mother, you know, team member, wife. I want it to be descriptive. I want it to be like, like what kind of mother? What kind of wife? You know, what are you? And, and I don't want this to be, who does someone else think you are? This is who do you think you are? This is owning you. So does that kind of make sense? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the timer so we can just write, it's gonna be quiet, I'm gonna do it too. And like I said, no one has to see this. This is just for you to kind of get really clear on who you believe you are. Oh, and I, before we start that, if you happen to have an, any oil, I picked believe, I thought, well, that's kind of cool because this is kind of all about believing who, who, what do we believe about ourselves, right? So if you have that, that's great. And if you don't, if you need to go get a piece of paper, you can do that, we're all good. I'm, this is not formal. Hopefully it's even recording and anybody can see this, but two minutes, oh, not two hours, two minutes. We're going to do two minutes and we're just going to write about 
who we believe we are. Ready, set, go. Thirty four more seconds. There it is, time's up. Okay, so here's the thing that I want you to think about now. Okay, so we wrote down some things we believe about ourselves, right? And I hope so badly that they're positive things because I think that it is so easy for us to think negative things. And I, we're probably all guilty of this because we're just, we're on a journey, right? We're growing through this, but I hope so much that they're positive. But if they're not, I challenge you to look back over that list. You don't have to do that now, but look back over it. And so say maybe, you did write something down that as you look over, oh, that's a little negative. Change it to something positive and believe the best because God designed us for greatness. I, you believe, I believe that with my whole heart. He designed us for greatness and he has a purpose for each and every one of us. I, I truly believe that and I hope that you can grasp that and believe that too because it is super important. Do I always live like that or feel like that? No, I'm real, I'm human. We all are, right? We have our challenges, but I feel like that the more we can embrace that and I feel like this whole owning ourselves and telling our story all stems and that's our foundation how we feel about that is going to affect everything about our life like everything and so i think that is super powerful can you still hear me okay yep okay good deal all right okay now the other thing i wanted to like as i was preparing for this i thought well i'm, I'm i was asked to talk about this people are expecting something i probably should write out this long eloquent speech that's all outlined and powerpointed and type it up and maybe practice it in front of a mirror maybe practice it in front of my family. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, that's not me. That is not me. And so if I'm to you know, show you what owning you is like, then why would I do something that wasn't even me? So this is my notes. Yeah, there's scribbles. There's a little bit on the back. And actually this is from something totally something else. So it's just kind of scattered because that's kind of who I am. But with, along with that, because I want to set the example that I think owning you is we have to be true to who we are. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't be growing and working, that tomorrow I shouldn't try to be better than I am today. Yes, I need to get better at presenting and you know, being a little more organized with my thoughts because people are coming and expect something. But I also think I need to be okay with, there's some, well, there has to be that balance between I'm content with who I am, yet growing into something better, right? So I think, I'm hoping that as you wrote down who you were, who you believe you are, if there are things like, I really want to work on that. You will see that you know, it's a journey and it's okay. I'm okay with this, but let's see if I can't get to a different place and just be all the, you know, grow into that different place. Because growing is kind of like, that's one thing when I write down about myself, I love to learn and grow. So I think just knowing who you are, because I could talk all day about, you know, my journey of learning to know who I am, but you, our journeys are so different and unique. 
just like our fingerprint is no different. Yours is, everybody's is different, right? Everybody's is completely different and unique. Just our story is the same way. Your, your story is going to touch someone that I may never, ever, ever come in contact with. I mean, there are so many people out there that only maybe you can reach. And so I think it's so powerful to get, to be okay with that and embrace that. Okay, I didn't even tell you. I didn't even tell you. I told you about my planner and I forgot what I was even telling you about my planner about. It had a quote and then the quote, did I say this? I think I'm, I totally got off on a squirrel trail, rabbit trail. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Is that so cool? That's what my planner said today. I thought that was super neat since I was going to talk about owning you. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. And I have a couple more quotes that I hope to share at some point. But what I want to do is um, out of that exercise about who am I owning you, I would love for you to circle five things that really, really stand out to you that really they just get you fired up when you read it or hear about it. You're just like, Oh my word. I love that about myself. Or, I love that about my journey. And just then just study that and become more of that. I think that is super powerful. Um, keep an eye on my time. Um, and just doing what's true to you. I feel like, um, obviously we're all in the young living business and we're building a business. And I think that it is so easy, correct me if I'm wrong to compare ourselves to other people. Do you, anybody else do that? If you don't, that's wonderful, but I struggle. I'll, I'll look and I'm like, they have, seem to really have it figured out. I wonder if I could try that too. But here's, the, here's what I have learned, I'm, am learning from that, is that my journey is different than someone else's. The people I'm going to talk to, my audience, my people are just different. And so I think the more we can be, you know what, that's okay. We can learn from other people, definitely. But I think that we need to figure out how, how we can make our journey unique and how we, because that just makes it more special. And your, your story is unlike anyone else's, right? So I think that is important to just do what's true to you. And use your strengths you already have while be open to fine tuning and getting new ones. That was actually a quote from the Oil Share Repeat book, which you, if you're by Dory Doyle. I believe it's a new book out that's kind of just a short little book about the. So use your strengths you already have while being open to fine tuning, you know, maybe your weaknesses. This is something else I'm super passionate about. I feel like that as a person, I tend to worry about my weaknesses. And yes, I think we have to work on our weaknesses, but I am really, really passionate about going with your strengths and building on them. And I will share a resource at the end that you may or may or not may not have already used, but I really liked it about trying to figure out what our strengths are. Kind of like that kind of stuff too. It's kind of fun. Okay, and yeah, the way you build your business is as unique to you as, as your fingerprint. I feel like that maybe, you know, I think we all know there's the, the things we have to do to build a young living business. We have to enroll people, we help, we educate them, help them get on ER, and then we build leaders, right? Those are the three IPA type things. And then I'm gonna just, I believe with all my heart, and anybody that's been in um, network marketing or in young living for any period of time, the personal development is so, powerful and so needful. I think it's foundational to this whole journey. And so I believe it's very, very important. I think it should get into our every single day, that whole owning you and becoming a better person. But I, I think there's, um, we have to somehow set up that boundary that we are careful about how much time we spend doing that because I'm probably the type of person I could grow and learn and do training all day long and be not getting these done. So I, while I believe this is super important, this whole owning you, writing your story, and coming up something unique to you, I think there needs to be, it needs to get into our everyday, but there needs to be a time limit on it, especially if you can just be sucked into it and love it as much as I do. So I would say at least 20 to 30 minutes daily is super important to be growing you and just coming up and fine tuning who you are and getting really clear on your story. Okay, some other things I wanted to talk about. Oh, like a convention, for those of you that were at convention, this is something that really stood out to me because I'm really big on relationships. I think that this we could be called relationship marketing and sometimes it is because really, as the quote goes, people don't care how much you know, <clears throat> excuse me, until they know how much you care. Such a powerful, powerful thing to remember because we could be talking all day about young living and how much this has changed our lives. But if it's always all about us and what our journey is and about, and we're not meeting other people's needs, we're, we're losing, our words are lost on them. So, so powerful that we are making sure people know we care and we are trying to find a way to meet their needs. 
I think that is so powerful. And I think we all know this. It's just sometimes we just need to be reminded, right? Okay, something else that really, um, see here, I have my scattered thoughts. I just, I don't want to forget anything at all, but I want it to, to make sense. Um, oh yeah, what was shared at convention? Okay, so I'm, I don't really remember, unless it was Jared Turner who said this, and I'm just going to pull out my notes here, but I loved it, and it's just really stuck with me. It's probably, there were so many good things, but this one really, really stuck with me, and I think it's very vital as we grow our Young Living business and our, team, our, our existing team and new people, and this kind of goes along the same line about people, about caring about people. So he said, caring about others and expect nothing in return. He had to stand up, if it was Jared or whoever it was, but they had had us stand up and we looked at the person to beside us and we said I love you and I expect nothing in return and that just was so powerful to me that and to other people because you know what so many people where you live in a day and age I feel like when people just it is what's in it for me right they just want to know what they can get out of it and I feel like that we just need to be giving to other people and and love people unconditionally and you know what that that's other people and it's yourself I mean, I think we have to love ourselves where we're at right now unconditionally to grow into being into serving other people. So I think that's super powerful. And I love that. And they said, everyone is wearing a sign around their neck that says, love me. And I thought, well, that's so sweet. And if we could just, as we're out and about in the world, we go to Walmart, we go to wherever we shop, we go to work or whatever. If everybody's like wearing that sign to me and, and they, everybody craves that. Everybody wants to be cared about, right? They just do. So I loved, I love that little thing. And a, a good reminder when you're doing your young thing business, you're teaching a class, all that, just care about the person and try to meet their needs. Okay. I think I'm coming down to the close. I kind of want to share a couple of resources and some things that I, actually one thing I just ran into today, isn't it funny how things kind of pop up when they do. Um, a couple resources that I feel like, oh, before I go there. <laughs> okay. Another tip that has really helped me and I'm still working on it because that's just what we're doing, right? We're just continually working on our journey is to get really, really good at asking questions of yourself and of others and especially open-ended questions. Like, so basically you're probably really familiar with this term, but it's just asking questions just like I did in the beginning. Like, who am I? You know, what are my passions? I guess the answer. So it gets people thinking and then asking questions of other people and then just continuing as they give you an answer, just ask more questions. And you can just, people love to talk about themselves. I think we all know they love to talk about themselves. And we want to, that's how we can get to know people. And I feel like that is really a good way to be a guide, because that's what we want to be. We want to guide people to what, to meet their needs. We, we, they have a need, we want to help fill that. So get really, really good at asking questions of yourself, because honestly, we have to own who we are, and be good with that before we're going to really be able to help other people. Okay, so that was a, a little tip. And then a couple resources for becoming, like owning who we are and learning to know ourselves better. Because it's kind of sometimes I feel like this is a journey of who we are, you know, the journey of finding out who we are. So some, a book, uh, I will list these when I put the recording in the group. I will list the book and the title, or the book and the author so you can kind of refer back to it. Is Strength Finders 2.0, and this is, I don't know if this is backwards, I can't remember, maybe on Zoom it's not. Zoom, or Strength Finders 2.0, basically this has a little quiz you take that kind of helps you know what your strengths are. And this, it was like amazing, I loved it. And please, if this is not your jam, don't waste your time doing it. But if it is something you really, really wanna know, how can I figure out a little bit more what, what, what's a, what, what, my, what my strengths are, this might help you, I love this book. The other two books are personalities, for anybody that likes personalities and likes to learn, I think it helps me understand myself better and of course my other. So these are just the um, Full Spectrum Success and Full Spectrum Freedom by Jacob Adamo. Those are really good books. And there's other ones on personalities and getting to know people better. Um, anything by John Maxwell, big, big fan of his. And then on telling your story and figuring out how to brand your story, I have two things on that. And the first one is, this book, I think it just came out maybe the beginning of this year, Building a Story Brand. So if you're really serious about wanting to kind of construct a story and you like a book and you like a guide or a resource, this book, I, I really, really liked it. it. It walks you through it. I think there's even some resources you can use on their website to kind of help you, you know, build a story brand. Basically, it's building your story. And then just today in the Oily Family Office, 
Alyssa Francis. She's been sharing um, a little thing, a little, oh, she's been sharing posts. I'm not sure if they're daily, but maybe so. And they have been titled hashtag story behind the diamond. So I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but she has been sharing stories. And then just today she, she um, shared a link for Richard Bliss Brooks. He has a, a webinar, a free webinar that's called how to craft your story. And so I, I've just started to listen to like, oh, I don't have time for this right now, but it's super powerful. So there's a resource that'll help you to craft your story. If you're, if that's something that you feel like you need to do, but I'm going to say these kind of things, while I think they're vitally, vitally important, it doesn't replace getting out there, you know, and talking to people. Cause I think we have to, we have to do it side by side. We can't wait till we have the story built and then share, or, you know what I mean? Wait till we have everything all figured out and then we share. I think it just needs, there needs to be that balance of like, you know, building, working on ourselves, but also getting out there and doing those important things. So I think that I, I'm going to leave you with a few quotes because I like that. Um, don't compare yourself to others, compare yourself to yourself. So basically my, my thinking on this is tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. Maybe there's one area and no, we don't always, this doesn't always happen, but I think comparing ourselves to who we were yesterday and trying to grow from ourselves and not someone else. I love that. Um, what's another one? One of the biggest ways to make a difference is to embrace what makes us different. And I thought that was really neat because that's so cool. It's, that's, it shows how, how unique we all are. And there's so many more I could have shared, but I don't want to be on here all night just sharing quotes because you can read those other places. But I think that is all I have for you. And if you, if you have any questions, Carrie, I would be glad. Oh, that's kind of loud. Hopefully that's not too distracting. If you have any questions, I can answer because we have a little more time. I can, or actually I can stop the recording and then we could chat a little bit. Oh. But, and, and anybody that watches this recording, if you have questions or victories or challenges, you know what, message me. I love to hear that kind of thing. I love to hear how you're growing, how this is applying to your life. Cause I, I just, I like that kind of stuff. So thank you for joining me and I'm going to stop the recording. Okay.